Trump has called on his supporters to join an army of poll watchers to guard against fraud. Tonight, we're learning both parties have actually recruited hundreds of volunteers to observe the voting process. WCNC Charlotte's Chloe Leshner has been asking election officials about that. She joins us live at a polling place in West Charlotte with some answers. So, Chloe, uh, what can voters expect to see at the polls? Well, Sarah, inside they will see two people from each party just watching what's going on. These poll observers are not allowed to talk to or even get close to voters. Outside, anybody who wants to see what's happening has to stay outside of a 50-foot buffer around the polling place. As a record number of people cast their ballots early, there are more than just voters inside of our polling places. Both Republicans and Democrats have recruited poll observers to make sure procedures are being followed this election season. They're inside the voting location and they can see what's going on. They can't see how you vote and they don't see any confidential data. Each party can have two observers at every polling place. They have to be registered voters in the county and have good moral character. They're meant to boost confidence in the integrity of an election, but voters shouldn't even notice they're there. They're there to observe. They're not to talk, they're not to contact, they're not to touch. They're not to interfere with anything. After the president's comments at the first debate, there's more attention on poll observers this election, but it's a standard practice. And they've been around forever. Uh, for my 22 years, we've always had observers at every one of our uh, elections, be it Democrats or Republicans. Um, so they, they're, they're, you're right, there's nothing brand new about those. And for those voting by mail, the Mecklenburg County Board of Elections also has a bipartisan team reviewing the returned envelopes. We've got two checks on all this sort of stuff. And these poll observers are not allowed to wear or hand out any campaign material, and there are long-standing laws against voter in intimidation. Live in West Charlotte, Chloe Leshner, WCNC Charlotte. All right.